Well, the snow came just in time for some winter festivities, but the weather not welcomed by everyone. 13 Wham's Chris Conti spent the day out in the elements and joins us now with more. And Rachel, what a difference a few hours make. The snow has let up, the wind has died down, and you can actually start to see pavement on a lot of roads out here. Still, though, we were long overdue for a good snowstorm, and that's exactly what we got today. We could start this story off by telling you how cold and windy it was today. Or we could show you. Freezing, freezing, very, very freezing, cold. Freezing, freezing. Very cold. Just how cold. I can't feel my body. And windy it was today. And now it's what, 20? Feels, feels like two? Somewhere along the shores of Charlotte Beach, the term lake effect <laughs> took on a whole new meaning. Can you, can you feel your toes? Or your no, I know my tingle. <laughs> it stinks. They're crazy, <laughs> absolutely crazy. I'm originally from Texas and I can't believe they're doing this. Never again, never again. For hundreds of polar plungers, Lake Ontario might as well have been the Arctic Ocean. It's freezing, it just stings, it burns. Oh, this is ridiculous, I should never have done this. But we've had a wonderful winter. So we no, thought, we <laughs> yes we have. If all this seems a bit too chilly for you. And they said this year was the worst yet. So it was bad. How about some actual chili? Little beef brisket, pork shoulder. What could be hotter on a cold day in February than a chili cook-off? Be careful what you wish for, because you might end up getting it. Here we go, Rochester. Winter may have come back with a vengeance today, but that doesn't mean we can't fight back. And is, it's still snowing pretty bad out there, isn't it? Now, crazy or not, there were close to 1,600 people who jumped into the frigid cold waters of Lake Ontario this morning. They ended up raising over $220,000, and all of that money went to Special Olympics of New York. Live in Henrietta this evening, Chris Conti, 13 Wham News.